That's how many trekking poles I need for today's video. Why are there so many tents on the market? And how do you choose the right tent for you? Look, the reality is a lot of tents are basically the same, with only a few that really stand out from the rest. Now, all these tents are very similar, but they each excel in different areas. So I thought we should go through them all, talk about the pros and cons, so you know which one is right for you. So let's check it out. Okay, all the tents we're talking about today are ultralight single person trekking pole tents. These tents represent the lightest of light tents which, no matter who you are, even if you're not a gram weenie, you shouldn't be ignoring weight. And with that in mind, the lightest tent, not just on this list, but in the world, is the Z-Pax Plex Solo. The Plex Solo weighs less than 14 ounces, not counting trekking poles or stakes. It's made out of Dyneema, which is part of what makes it so light, and it was my go-to tent all last year. If weight is your priority, there just isn't a lighter tent available to you. But because this tent is so light, there are some things you're going to have to compromise on, like the rainbow door that falls to the ground, the pole that's in the way of the door, and probably most importantly is the price. The Plex Solo is $600 on its own, not counting trekking poles or stakes. So even though I love this tent, unless you're really after the lightest possible setup, it's probably not for you. Now, if you want a little bit more room while paying half of what the Plex Solo costs, then the Lunar Solo is the tent for you. The Lunar Solo is one of the original hexagon style single pole tents that now so many tents are designed after these days. It's made out of polyester, which doesn't absorb water or sag like nylon, but it's not as light as Dyneema. In fact, this is the heaviest tent on my list at 28 ounces, still well under two pounds, not counting poles or stakes but what you get for that weight is the roomiest one-person tent that I have ever used. It's almost big enough for two people, so if you like to keep your gear inside the tent with you, or you like to hike with a dog, this is the tent for you. And it's one of the more affordable tents on this list at just $260. One issue though is that this tent isn't seam sealed from the manufacturer, so you'll either need to do that yourself or pay six moons to do it for you. But if you want to go even cheaper with basically the same design as the first two tents, you you can get the Lanshan One Pro. This tent comes in at just $180 and is still pretty lightweight at just 25.6 ounces. But just like the Lunar Solo, it isn't seam sealed from the factory, so you need to do that yourself. And cheap tents do have other costs. It uses cheaper materials like nylon that will sag and stretch when it gets wet. Not the best when you're relying on material to keep the pole erect, but a lot of tents use nylon material, so you're in good company. You're also paying for better quality control workmanship, customer service, and more. But the main things you pay for when you buy from small cottage companies are better wages for the people who make the tents by hand right here in the United States. You're paying for benefits like insurance, paid time off, research and development to come up with these designs and improve on them, not just make the same tent cheaper by cutting corners or worse, cutting the wages of the people who make these tents. When you buy from cottage companies, you are supporting people just like you. People People who love hiking and backpacking and work at these companies because they want to contribute to the hiking community. Just like Garage Grown Gear, who has made it their mission to support these small brands by providing them all in one place through their online store. Garage Grown Gear actively seeks out small cottage companies like Six Moon Designs or Gossamer Gear that we'll talk about here in a few minutes to bring you the best backpacking and ultralight gear that you can find anywhere on the internet. Garage Grown Gear supports small brands and is a small company themselves. I'll often have conversations with the owner and co-founder where he'll say, all right, I gotta go pack some boxes. We just had a big order come in today. Those are the kinds of things you pay for when you buy from cottage gear companies. So thank you for buying from my sponsors, buying from small companies, and supporting people just like you and me. It means more to me than you realize. Speaking of small companies, I've had a few opportunities to chat with the designer of this next tent, Dan Durston, who designed the brand new XMed Pro 1. You may recall that I was somewhat critical of the XMed Pro 2, mainly because I didn't feel like it was a true two-person tent, something that Dan and I have discussed a few different times now. But the Pro 1 is probably the most innovative one-person tent on the market right now. It is the second lightest tent that I've ever used at 17.6 ounces on my home scale. That's just three ounces heavier than the Plex Solo, the lightest tent in the world. And for three extra ounces, you get a ton of headroom properly hanging doors that are not blocked by the pole, an ingenious geometric design that only needs four stakes to properly pitch, which 
brings the total carried weight down even further, and it's very wind and weather resistant. It's also made out of Dyneema, but it has heat bonded seams instead of sewn seams to provide even better construction. Having spoken to Dan about this tent a few different times, I'm not sure that there's any one tent that has had as much thought put into it as the X Mid Pro series. And when you use this tent, you can tell that it is his baby, so to speak. The only problem is this is the second most expensive tent at $600, the same cost as the Plex Solo. But the reality is if you want a tent this innovative, this light, you're going to have to fork out some big bucks. But probably the best all around tent balancing design, price, headroom, and weight is the Gossamer Gear The One. This tent is just 18.1 ounces. That's just one ounce heavier than the X-Med Pro One, and it uses much cheaper ripstop nylon that allows it to cost just $300, which when you compare it to other tents this light, that is a significant difference. It has quite a bit of headroom with a whopping 43 inches between the poles at the ridge line. My only complaint about this tent is they tapered the floor to 21 inches at the foot, which means if you want to use a 25 inch wide pad in this tent, it's going to have to be a tapered or mummy shaped pad, which isn't my favorite, but it's not the worst either. If you can get past that, this is really a great tent at a great weight for a decent price. Now, the last tent on my list, which I'm calling the honorable mention, is the Outdoor Vitals 40th tent. The reason this tent is just an honorable mention is because I really struggled with this tent. It's not the lightest, it's not the roomiest, it's not the least expensive, nor is it the most innovative. It's actually got a really similar design to the Gossamer Gear The One, and it's $10 cheaper, but it's also four ounces heavier, which when you're talking about tents this light, four ounces is a lot, and $10 is not that much to pay to shed that much weight. I do like the open mesh in the back that makes this tent feel a little bit more open, but it also means that this vestibule is basically worthless because you can't really access it. But at 28 inches wide, you can fit a full rectangular wide pad in this tent, which if that is important to you, then this is a decent tent at a decent price. But I'm curious out of all these tents, which is the one that you would choose? Drop me a comment and let me know. Thank you to Garage Grown Gear for sponsoring this video. Please like, subscribe, and do all those other things. And as always, thanks for watching.